Hi everyone, welcome to problem number seven of Replicate This Illustrator Edition. We will be making a typographic wreath, or a donut, or a bagel, or a cronut, whatever you want to call it. We are going to need three different typographical glyphs to make this, an asterisk, an ampersand, and what I've been told is the Icelandic symbol for something like that. I forget what it's called. Anyway, it's Elvish, or I think I remember uh, Legolas saying this letter in the Lord of the Rings. Let's get, let's start off with the ampersand. The ampersand is the middle row here, the middle stripe. We're going to need, now as it says at the beginning, at the top of the quiz, every single piece of type is some variant of myriad. If you'd like to go over here and match it exactly, you can. I'm just going to say it's 28 point, all right? Okay, now if you remember from class, the best way to rotate something around a point and then to repeat it is to grab the rotate tool, or R is the hotkey. And okay, I am actually going to use this as my guide. I'm going to leave this over here. Let's turn this red just so we can see it. And I'm going to grab my rotate tool again. And I'm going to say, okay, this is the middle of this wreath, and I want to duplicate this wreath. So I'm going to hit Option click with the rotate tool and preview is already on so I just need to guess as I could count how many ampersands there are here 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 there are 15 ampersands and if you're really good at math you know that 15 goes into 360 how many times let's try 24 that looks pretty accurate. 15 times 24, 360. I guess that makes sense. Now the important thing here is to not click OK, but to hit Copy. So it makes a copy at 24 degrees, which you can then repeat. Let's see, Command D is Object Transform again. Command D. Command D will rotate that thing all the way around. There we go. Now we have 15 ampersands. Oops. Let's lock this original image. I should do this at the beginning of every problem. Object lock selection. Command 2. Memorize it. Okay, let's grab these ampersands. Let's move them over here. Okay, now we kind of have an idea of where the center is. We can grab our Icelandic character. Now, how would you ever find, how would you know what the keyboard shortcut is to get this cool looking letter? Well, there's something called the glyphs palette that you should know about. The glyphs panel will allow us to find any number of characters. And somewhere in this huge mess of glyphs, we have our Icelandic thing. Oh, look, I found it. It's right here. It's going to be in a different place on yours just because whenever we resize the glyphs panel, they shift around. But uh, there it is. Oops, you know what I didn't do? Let's close the glyphs panel. In order to use the glyphs panel, you have to grab the type tool and you have to click and you have to have an open type object ready to type. Let's go back to glyphs and double click it. Shrink that. There we go. There's our beloved character, our beloved Icelandic slash Elvis, <laughs> Elvish character. Has nothing to do with Elvis. Let's shrink that down. That's about good. That's about good enough. What I actually want to do is take this thing over here. Let's take it over here so we can just check our work as we go. All right, option click. I'm gonna hit R to get the rotate. Option click with rotate. What do you think, is that centered? Okay, 20 is too much. Let's try 15. It doesn't need to be rotated. Up oh, 15 looks about right. 15 goes into 360 how many times? I'm going to say about 24. Let's click copy and then command D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D There's our 24 copies of the Elvish character. Let's bring this over here. Now this isn't the ideal way to do it. I probably should have left the ampersands over there because we don't want them to touch. We just want them to be 
perfectly surrounding each other. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Now, do you think that we can do the asterisks without using this as a reference? I don't. I'm going to save time and not do it. So let's click with our type tool, shift eight, or the asterisk above the eight on your keyboard. You probably know that already. Let's bring this over here, tint it red, scale it up. Okay, that looks like that's about the right size. Did I do 48? I think it's 48. Close that. Close this so we don't have anything encroaching on our space here. Now, let's count this time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so 12 goes into 360. How many times, math people? Remember that number. Okay, let's option click in the middle with the rotate tool. Option click. 12 goes into 360. 30 times. There we go. Copy, Command D, or Repeat Transform. Gives us a nice, pretty asterisk wreath, which we get. Oh, that's kind of cool. We can drag that into the middle of our wreath over here. Now, there's a million ways to recreate this, but the general idea is that you need to option click in the middle of a character and get a wreath that looks something like this. Let's tint it to black so it's exactly like the example. Not white, black. And you're done. You can feel free to recreate yours exactly over the top of this and then drag it over just so it's less confusing than mine was and you don't have to eyeball the things inside of each other. But that's just the way this tutorial went. And there's no time to do it again. Sorry, but uh, congratulations on your typographic wreath and Merry Christmas.